Hi, this is Kumar. Today we are going to discuss one HTML5 API called local storage. So why do we use local storage than cookies? Because local storage is more secure, large amount of data can be stored locally without affecting performance. Unlike cookies, they can store up to 5 MB of data. So let's do some example here where app is equal to function inside function we will write our script here this object a local storage one method a set item to store the item in key value pair I say name as fruitjs dot org local storage dot set item again key that is age I say twenty and we can check now in our console by pressing F twelve going in resources tab under local storage here we can see that two values are stored and we can also remove these local storage manually by using remove item or clear the storage so the storage is clear okay so if we want to remove everything whatever we have written earlier we can do it like this okay first clear everything then we store the name and age now we can have one more option to remove these properties one by one using same object with remove item method item A, I is in capital case age and you can see that age is removed we delete the age property and we can store other type of data as well like in case we want to store object so where obj is equal to some name have some Tom. and you, you can see that this now let's store it in local storage so here the limitation is we can store data only in string format that is obj or my obj my obj here if we type it it will not work because it will accept only a string so to make it a string we can use json dot stringify and here you can see name dot tom is stored now let's move on to fetch the data so for fetching local storage object dot get item instead of set item get item get item my obj but get obj and console dot log get obj you can see that it is in a string format okay let's run you can see it is we need actually in object format so just again do it like this or as you here do it some parsing 
json dot parse and you can see object name now it is in json format or you can see here also object name dom okay I'm using this bin which I will share you in the video description you can click there and and there are more ways to use this local storage like we can manipulate the dome using this local storage like here I have created two divs one is result div and one is the button which are doing nothing fancy so where result is equal to document dot get element by id here results one more where fetch is equal to uh, fetch dot add event click function which will populate the dome uh oh let's write some HTML string HTML template or now local storage dot set item HTML template so we store we can check it here we have stored the local HTML yes HTML template here so what we need is the moment I click here this value should fetch in the result div here so for this uh, what I have to do results dot inner HTML local storage dot get item yes so it can be very useful so it can be very useful when we will fetch the submenu items from local storage or so it will be very useful when we want to fetch something very quickly instead of requesting from services or hide something in your dome and show it so this is one another way and it is the quickest one we don't have to hide our dome we don't have to raise any request new request to the service because services are uh, slow as well so this is the fastest way and this information will always be here so now file we close this window and open again we can see that F12 the information is thank you for watching the video please share and subscribe my channel and videos thank you